it, YouTube. Welcome back to yet another quarantine edition. I am one third of the trio of terror. Uh, my brother is Vic Springston and uh, the Weird Kids Show channel. We're both putting up daily vlogs during this time of madness and pandemic to keep you guys kind of distracted, to give you something to uh, kind of enjoy. Just take a break from the real world. Um, so today I want to do my fish man. Uh, I got this from Alan Hops. Uh, Alan foamed this up for me. This is his sculpt. It's original fish man. I am a huge, huge Creature of the Black Lagoon fan. So when I saw this guy, I had to have him. So I do have an unboxing video below. Uh, I'll try and link it if I get a chance. Uh, if not, you guys can go find it in my videos. And I wanted to put this guy on a spear. Most of my uh, Swamp Witch, I have everything on spears. I'm a big fan of sticking anything on a spear. Um, I've got all different kinds. Uh, most of my spears are just sticks I find out in the woods. I cut them down. And on the bottom, every spear I do has a piece of angle iron screwed to the bottom. So I just jam them in the ground. Stab them down, and I ain't got to worry about them until after Halloween's over and I take everything down. So today I'm going to go ahead and put some uh, paint on this guy's guts. I went ahead and put a two-piece spear. Alan was nice enough to put a uh, pipe in the middle for me. So I split the pipe so I have a stick coming up to the bottom and then through the top. Um, everything's foamed up inside the thing, so all the little fish guts hanging down are great stuff that I did. Uh, I will not touch Alan's sculpt out of respect. I'm happy with it. I love the way it is. Uh, the only thing I might do is just coat glitter uh, Devcon over his eyes to make him glossy, to give him that kind of glossy uh, dead look. Um, but I'm going to bag this guy up, and I'm going to kind of paint his guts and put some gore on there to basically get him ready to stand next to my witch on Halloween. So let's get busy. I'm gonna, I can't wait to get some paint on this guy. He's, he's freaking awesome. So let's do it. Let me bag this guy up. So I got the fish man all uh, bagged up. I got painter's tape on so I don't pull any of uh, Alan's paint off. Uh, I think I'm ready to go. I, like I said, I don't want to ruin Alan's work. I don't want to mess up his beautiful fishy face. Uh, I just want to kind of enhance him. Like I said, I've never been much of a mask guy, but I am a head on a spear guy all the way. So I want to put some fish guts on him and some cool little entrails hanging. So I have this product that works pretty good for me. It's Rust-Oleum Foam Primer. Now this being great stuff, everybody's like, oh, you can't paint that. It'll melt. It'll melt. And it will a little bit if you go heavy on it, but if you go lightly and mist, it won't. But uh, I did use this on my tree stump uh, project, my fake tree stump, and it worked out pretty good. So I'm going to try it again. I'm going to give this thing a couple of light coats. It's basically the same color as the foam, just to give it a little barrier between the next coat. Because I think I'm going to start with a, a dark green and lighten my way out with yellows. But just to keep it from eating into it, we'll take the chance to use a little bit of foam. So I'm just going to do light coats. I'm going to prime the top, the bottom of all those entrails. And when I come back, I'm going to do some, uh, I think I'm going to start with a deeper color and paint the guts, the guts a darker green and then come out with a lighter yellow and then probably uh, top it off with like a pink brush or so uh, to look more like, a, like, like rotting fish guts and entrails. So I'm going to finish uh, hitting it with the foam primer and I'll come back. We'll throw some color on it for the first, uh, the first base coat. All right, we're back. That foam seems about dry. It's a little damp over here, but I heat gun that stuff. It's, God, I hate waiting. I hate waiting so freaking bad. I hate waiting. Oh, I hate it. I got sour green apple. That's what I want to put on this stuff. This will be our darker green, and then I want to use a lighter yellow for the fish guts and move, work my way out to lighter colors. So here's the plan. I'm going to hit it. I like that. I'm going to paint everything. Off the stick dust up to the underside of it. That nice fishy gut green color. I'll go a little bit down here with these little little intestine trails or whatever they are. You guys get the picture. So I'm going to base out the top and the bottom in green. And then I'm going to work on that yellow color so it looks like that more bloated, disgusting, ready to pop side, ready to pop in, uh, intestines like they've been sitting out in the sun. They're all got bubble guts and stuff. So I'm going to finish this off. We'll come back and put some yellow on there next. All right. So we're done with our satin green apple. I'm happy with that. It's not eating into the foam. So obviously the foam primer kind of helps a little bit. A little smooth, so I'm happy with that. Next thing we do, get some gloves on. 
I've got some sun gloss yellow. To be just like kindergarten, my finger painting. I want to spray in my hands and touch the outside of the guts to give them that, that rancid, nasty intestine color. Just on the outside edges. You just like kindergarten finger paint, only don't stick uh, Kimberly Burba's pigtails in the paint. That's bad. If you're watching this, Kim, I'm sorry. I don't want to talk about it. It's a bad idea. Okay. There we go. Finger paint, people. Finger paint. You just want to touch the outside of them guts. All the way down. I'm a little guys. Oh, yeah. Just rub a little color in there. Wherever you can get your fingertips at, it doesn't matter. Just like kindergarten. I don't think enough people paint with their hands anymore. It's kind of sad. So we're going to be basically just using our hands as a dry brush to get those top sections that are closest to the sun to have that really yellow, bubbly, nasty, rotten intestine look. So I'm going to go around and spray paint my hands. And I'm just going to touch everything. Get up here. We get down there, and I think we'll do some pink, get some pinks in there so it looks like uh, old, stale uh, blood and stuff. So, get my thing lit off, and I'm going to finish this up. I'll put on the yellow. Alrighty, so he's all finger painted up. I highly suggest finger painting. Finger paint, save a brush. Plus, it's fun. Um... It's a little bit tacky because it's uh it's a gloss paint which doesn't have to be gloss you can even actually use a tan color tan is probably closer to uh the actual intestines color but since i'm going to have this under a yellow floodlight i want high impact colors so my color palettes can be a little more uh, bright than anybody else's um so i'm going to go ahead and unmask him ready to move on to a brush and throw some uh some peaky gut color on this and uh, if you find a little kid around halloween time coming and touching your props and trying to pick little pieces of your great stuff off you give that kid black licorice and tell him, stop touching my stuff, kid. That's my stuff. I painted it. I fixed it. So let's get on to the next step. Let's unmask this guy. Let's throw some pink highlights on him. And then we'll throw some blood and some guts on him. And we'll dress him up. We'll put him in the yard. Let's take a look at him. So next step. All righty. So I've got some uh, bubblegum pink uh, acrylic craft paint. I want to do a little dry brush on the outside of the guts. I'm going to work out of a cup. And I want to save this cup because I'm going to use this. We're going to make a wash out of the same pink to get down in between all the little gutty areas so it looks like a bleeding, gutting fish or fish man, whatever. So I got my little pink in there. I just want to be super, super dry. I like to work out of a clear cup so I can kind of see how, how strong my, uh, my color is. And I just want to just gingerly just kind of just brush it. I think even that's too much. But we are going to come back with a wash, so it's okay. But that's about what I'm looking for right there. Just to kind of make them, them pink stand out. Oh, actually, I should probably go a little more. That's better. Hit that. Just dry brush, dry brush. Just to make it look like them guts are starting to, to turn the pinkish color. Like they're getting uh, rotten. So I just want to brush that pink on there, and then I'll wipe it off. But I want to keep all this because we're going to make a wash out of this next and go over all the guts so this pink gets down in all those little cracks and crevices. So I'm going to go ahead and dry brush this out, and I'll come back, and we'll do the wash on this thing. That'll really sell it. All right, so I got the pink dry brushing done. I'm pretty happy with it. I went and took my same cup that had the pink in it, uh, same brush and everything, and I just grabbed some of my red Rick dye, and I made my wash with red rit dye and whatever pink was left in the bucket. This way, this reddish pink color would get down in all the little guts and nooks and crannies. So this should be pretty easy, hopefully. You can wet blend out some of the other stuff, which is fine. I didn't uh, really attack Alan's work. I just sort of blended into it. Like I said, I don't want to disrespect him and ruin his work. So I'm going to go ahead and brush all these guts. Get that pink in the middle. I want to get up under his head. Get in between them little gills and get them darker red spots in there. So it looks like bloody guts been hanging out of this fish man for a couple of days after the swamp witch hooked him and uh, drug him on shore. I'm just going to let it run down. I don't care. 
blend into all this. So I'm going to go ahead and blend top and bottom, get a nice pink wash done in all the little creases and crevices. And uh, come back. I want to do some clear coat, and then I want to dump some blood on them. All right, so now I'm just taking my red rit dye. I got a little bit of fake blood in here, too. Rit dye, like I said, a little bit at the bottom, then blood on top. And I'm just kind of spritzing his little wounds and his uh, organs and all his guts hanging down. Looks pretty cool. I'm just going to let it run all the way down the staff. I don't care. The little fleshy bits of intestines and guts hanging down just hit everything. And I'm going to put the heat gun on this, let it dry, and then I want to put some actual fake blood on it. Uh, but I think before I put the fake blood on, I'm going to go ahead and dry this out. I'm going to put some clear coat on it, spray it down so it's nice and glossy like, like rotten bubbling guts. And then we'll put the, bl the fake blood on top of that, let it run down. And I want to DevCon over the eyes to make sure they're glossy. And I might put a little bit of uh, black light paint on them, so we'll see. I'm going to let this dry, I'm going to run the heat gun on it, and then we'll come back and mess with it some more. All right, well, everything's uh, pretty well dried up. I'm going to hit the uh, guts with some uh, Ultra Coat, Ultra Cover Gloss Clear. I'm just going to spray everything and make it shiny. And I'm not afraid about wet blending any of the blood and let it run down. I just want it to be smooth and shiny. Look like his, like he's a fresh kill and his guts are all uh, slimy. So I'm going to come up a little bit on the mask. This will help lock all my color in. I don't think I'm going to leave this guy out more than a day or two before Halloween. I don't want little kids touching him or looking at him too hard. So I'm going to clear this. I'm going to clear the top. And then I am going to go ahead and paint his eyes. I've got some uh, Midnight Glow. Even though he'll be under a yellow LED uh, floodlight, I'm going to have black lights in the yard. So I do want them to pick up the reflection in case it works. So this color I have is pretty close to Alan's color, a little brighter. I'm going to brush his eyes, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cover them with DevCon 5-Minute Epoxy. It'll also keep his eyes nice and glossy, and uh, it'll make a nice reflection that picks up in the black light. So I'm going to do that, and then when we come back, we're going to throw some blood on him. We're going to put him in the yard and call him done. All right, so I got his eyes brushed out. added a little bit of the uh, black light paint to the 5-Minute Epoxy. I went ahead and brushed his eyeballs out, so his eyeballs are good. They're nice and glossy now. I had a little bit left that I brushed on the teeth. Um, I think now we're ready for blood. My clear coat seems to be dry. I'm going to scoot you guys in a little bit. Get closer up to the fish man. There we go. That's better. So this stuff skinned over. So I got some spirit blood. I usually use uh, Pale Night Productions, but you can't always have what you want. The zombie apocalypse, so we're going to make this work. I went ahead and just poured it into a little two ounce squirt bottle. It's easier to control this way unless you just want to take a handful and plaster at your creatures. You can do that too. Um, but I want to go from top to bottom. Whatever drips, drips. I'm fine with it. And then I'm going to put some in the guts. And I usually what I do is I like to kind of just squirt it in and then blow it. This way it gets in all the little pieces you want. You can kind of move it around, smear it around with your fingers and stuff. Um, that's what works for me. It may be different for you guys. I'm going to get the ladder here. I know I want a lot at the top to make it look like this fish man has had his, uh, had his number pulled. And then again, I'll do it up here. Just kind of squirt it on. Out. No. Get your scooter. Go. All right. I think that one's kind of cool, the whole blood trail effect. We're going to put some up here. And I'm going to bloody up the bottom while my daughter's making a freaking complete distraction. And then uh, we get some up here under his gills. And then I'm just going to let it drip and I'm going to rub it in. So I'm going to bloody this guy up and we'll come back and we'll finish him up. All right, the blood's flying. I'm digging it. Get your little brush and get in there if you want. Get a little under his gills. All that pink red meat, a little bit under his chin. And I'll just work out of the cup. You can do as little or as much as you want. I like to kind of blow it and spread it in there. Get his guts all nice and deep in the crevices. And then let it run down the stick all the way to the bottom. Put a nice heavy blob on there. Yeah. 
some more on top. I want this spearhead nice and bloody. A little up there on the meat that's top, topping out of the top of his head. Brush a little under his chin. All right. Come on. Drip down that stack. Come on now. All righty. This is looking pretty awesome. I'm happy with the blood effect. I want it to kind of drip and run down. Do a little under his gills. Nice and bloody. All right. I'm going to leave them like that. I'm going to let that sit up for a little bit. I just bought a $5 nut off my daughter for freaking uh, $10. Goddamn highway robbery during the zombie apocalypse. What are you going to do? If you want to have some nuts, you got to have it. So uh, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, sprucing them up a little bit. And then uh, we're going to stab them in the ground. And we're going to take a look at them outside next time we see them. I'm going to let them drip dry a little bit. All right, what do you guys think? He's done. Take a good look at him. Nice and bloody, all the way top of the staff. Went ahead and added some netting I got from my uh, daughter who hijacked me on the price. Didn't want to put too much blood on him and cover up Alan's beautiful work. Got all his guts hanging down. Got some shells and some netting. I'm pretty happy with them. I think he's going to look awesome next to the Swamp Witch. That's the back of him. Again. All the way down to the ground. And his bloody guts. Alright. So what do you guys think? Are you digging the fish, man? Everything looks better on a spear. Alright, give you one last look around. Man, it's bright out here. It's hard to see. I really like the eyes. I think they're really going to kick when I turn the black light on. Uh, his teeth are going to look great. I got a little bit of blood in his mouth dripping out of his fangs. So, that's him, people. That is my fish man. I want to thank Alan who made him. All I did was stick him on the spear and uh, do a little detail work. I think he's going to be a great part of my haunt. So, thank you guys for watching. Come back for more. And, see, and, and do yourself a favor and go see Alan over at Stilpies. He's making amazing stuff now during the zombie apocalypse with this extra time. So, go see him. Go check out his channel and subscribe to him. Until the next time, I will see you guys later. Thanks so much.